Congratulations! You got a teaching job. Are you excited? Yeah, you are. Are you scared? Probably. Well, here are some tips that I wish I would have had my first year of teaching, and I'm gonna give them to you. Hopefully they help. Number one, those first two weeks really do matter. So, have a plan, but be prepared to have a change. You need to be flexible. You're kinda gonna be on a tightrope for the first two weeks. You'll get through it. Number two, your rug time is gonna crash and burn. Often, and that's totally fine. You're gonna learn the signs. When they start getting fidgety, do a finger play. Two kids talking, separate them. And when in doubt, just dance. Nothing will make it better than dancing. Number three, your patience will be tried. And tried again, and again. So you have to learn what works for you. Is it taking a deep breath? Is it tagging an assistant in? Whatever it is, learn it, learn it quickly, and know that it's gonna be okay. Number four, be silly and have a sense of humor. Teaching preschool is really serious. Dare I say no small matter? But at the same time, it's the funnest job possible. So be silly, be yourself, and have a good time doing it. Number five, we can't all be Miss Honey. We're gonna have bad days. You're gonna lose your cool, and it's okay. It happens to everybody. Just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start again, because even Miss Honey had some bad days. Number six, enthusiasm is contagious. Your kids know if you're not interested in something. So go ahead, get down on the floor with them. Play, explore, be invested. It's gonna make a world of difference. Number seven, don't get attached to anything you own. Much like the kids, wear nothing you value to school. I don't think I own a single article of clothing that doesn't have paint or a stain or a rip on it. So save yourself the trouble, just don't wear it. Number eight, don't be afraid to borrow. Do you see a lesson plan that looks pretty cool? An art exploration you wanna try? It's okay to borrow it. Just make sure you put your own spin on it. And make sure you share your stuff too, because you never know who you inspire. Number nine, when in doubt, whisper. It's probably one of my favorite tricks. The day I learned that if I just didn't talk over them, but talked under them, my class became a much quieter place. So don't be afraid to whisper. It changes everything. Number 10, when that kid is driving you nuts, hug him. It's what you both need. For all my experienced preschool teachers out there, go ahead and put your tips and tricks in the comments below, and let's help out these newbies, because we were all there once before.